Thank you for joining me. Uh, this is Dr. Jennifer Baldwin, the Director of Student Services for Special Education. And today I will be reviewing the safety and hygiene protocols for in-person evaluations, which will take place um, between July 13th and August 13th uh, in our Galloway Township Schools. Today what I will be going over with you are the staff protocols that have been shared uh, with the, the folks that will be evaluating your children. Um, I am also going to discuss scheduling, how to drop off your child and where, uh, the screenings that will occur for admittance, um, face mask use, infection control and social distancing, as well as our facilities cleaning plan. So the staff participated in a training earlier this week. The guidelines um, that were sent to the Department of Health were also shared with you in the letter that you received from me. Um, so you can see that, that full plan of what we had to consider. Um, but what I did review, as well as our school nurse, who's a registered nurse, we went over the, with the um, staff emergency first aid uh, with the umbrella of COVID-19 handling. Um, if there were, was um, a, a cut or a scrape on a child for some reason, how to handle that in terms of COVID-19. Uh, we also reviewed um, best practices for hand washing um, to ensure proper individual hygiene, um, the use of the, the PPE that the staff will be using and how to do all of that um, to ensure that um, we are at the safest level for our children um, and also just encouraging them to stay home if they're not feeling well and the identification of COVID-19 signs and symptoms and the, the impact of that. Your children um, are being scheduled this week, uh, the week of July 6th, for um, their evaluations. I do want you to know that uh, you will be given your own block with that evaluator. So all of our evaluators within um, the district will be housed at Freed's Rose School. Um, they each have their own classroom. So only one child will be in that full-size classroom that normally holds 25 children or so. Um, during that testing space. So they will have their own testing space. Um, it is important that you show up and pick up your child on time um, as the schedule for evaluations is created in such a way that allows for cleaning to occur in between children. So there will only be one child in that space um, and before your child enters, the space would have been cleaned and when your child leaves the space, um, the custodians are also going in and cleaning that space after them before the next child arrives. Um, so please make sure that you're on time and we appreciate your help with that. So this is a drop-off situation when your child's coming for evaluation. Um, unfortunately, no parents or guardians are allowed to enter the building at this time. Um, please know that that is just for the um, extra precaution of trying to mitigate COVID-19 and ensure the safety of all the staff that are here, as well as all the children coming. So your children, um, you should walk your child to the main entrance of Reed's Road, uh, ring the bell. Uh, you are going to be bringing two forms with you. Um, the first form is that you've watched this presentation just signing off that you know our procedures um, and that you understand the um, Department of Health guidelines. And then also we have in, attached to your letter is the COVID checklist. And so each time if your child has more than one evaluation and let's say they're gonna be here two or three different days, each day that your child comes, that COVID checklist needs to come with them. So please make sure that you have uh, those two forms for the first time that you arrive and the COVID checklist with you each time that you come to the building. Um, so, um, and again, uh, you will be greeted outside by the nurse at that time once you ring that bell. Upon arrival at Reeds Road, um, you will provide your COVID pre-screening tool for your child. Uh, you'll hand that to the nurse. The nurse will then take the child's temperature. Um, this will occur outside the school because if there is a fever, um, we want to make sure that that has not entered our, our school building. Um, and on that form, there's a spot for uh, the nurse to log your child's temperature. The child will then enter the school building by themselves um, with their um, uh, provider or the person who's doing the evaluation. In terms of the use of face masks and shields, 
Um, please know that our staff will be wearing them um, throughout the evaluation process. Uh, we have ordered um, clear face masks that will assist in um, full communication for, for the child. Um, so our staff will be wearing those masks as well as face shields. Um, and if your child can wear a mask, we ask them to do so. Um, but we also understand that some of our students, um, whether it's due to age or their own medical health or their disability, cannot. And so when um, it's not possible, we understand that. Um, we will be uh, maintaining social distancing. Um, I do want you to note that in some evaluations, like a physical therapy evaluation and occupational therapy evaluation, sometimes that is not possible. Um, and that, you know, our staff need to actually, um, you know, uh, be closer to the child. Please know that in those situations, um, they will wear gloves, they will have their face shields on as well as their masks, um, and uh, also um, they will be using plenty of hand sanitizer as, as necessary. Um, we do adhere to contact tracing methods um, and will notify the Department of Health if we are um, we do learn of someone who becomes um, infected with COVID-19, and we will let those people who are affected by that know um, that we had a case uh, in, in our program. In terms of cleaning, uh, all of our facilities are cleaned each day, um, and the rooms that are being used for evaluations will be cleaned in between each child. Um, so we do have a schedule, and the custodians um, are notified of that. Um, each morning so they know what the schedule is for the day. Um, and also anything that we might need to use that's a manipulative, um, like locks, things like that for your child to be tested, uh, those will also be disinfected. Please know that those materials are not used within the same day um, so that they can properly be disinfected. So we have enough materials that we can, you know, if we're testing three children in the same given day, we have three sets of materials where only your child is using that set day. Um, there are some materials we use in testing like Play-Doh and things like that. Um, you may see your child come home with their Play-Doh container um, or we might just throw it out. Um, but we will not, um, anything that's porous, we will not uh, use between children. We will just discard that, that material. I appreciate you taking the time to uh, hear this information. Um, you have it also in your documents that I've shared with you. Um, this may seem a lot, and I do want to just um, share with you, it's not meant to scare you or to make you nervous or upset for any reason. Um, this is more just um, really impressing upon all of our families that we do have procedures, um, that we are working very hard to um, make sure that we're following the guidelines from the Department of Health. And I do just want to thank you for your anticipated cooperation um, as you know that cooperation will make this go as smooth as possible. Um, for everybody involved. We do appreciate your participation. And if you do have any questions, um, please make sure that you reach out. And one last friendly reminder to sign off on the form that you've reviewed this um, presentation. Thank you for your time and have a great day.